Hi, I'm Zach Galifianakis, and I'm here with the writer John Ray in his Brooklyn studio. Uh, John Ray, thank you so much for inviting me over to chat. I don't remember inviting you, but it's a pleasure to be here. John, how do you start a novel? Do you begin more with uh, with the characters, or, or do you start with the plot? You know what the first thing that I put on the paper is? The end. And I work backwards. And a lot of people are like, well, I've heard that before. And I'm not kidding. I'll put, I'll write end first, then the, then I'll write, then I'll write, let's say for instance in my last novel, Calibration. Do you listen to any particular kind of music as you write your novels? Yes, I do. Uh, I'm a big Dolly Parton fan. Um, I listen to, I put nine to five, working nine to five on the loop. I find it's good for morale when you're working. And uh, basically that's the only Dolly Parton song I know. So I, I, from nine to five, I listen to the song nine to five. And what a way to make a living. Now, I wanted to ask you, John. Yeah. What was the inspiration for the character of Violet, uh, the mother of, of Lowboy the Disturbed 16 year old? Violet. And her real name is Violet. I see. Violet Waffles. Now, some people have called the novel Lowboy dark, frightening, even pornographic, while others have accused you of pandering to the lowest common denominator and simply writing a book for the sake of book sales. Mm. How would you answer these critics? I would answer those critics by saying, when you see it made into a Pixar movie, then who has the last laugh? Um, do you consider no, not really. I've actually did one novel in a um, in a, a spelling out the words in bow tie pasta. You know, like the, or macro or uh, el elbow noodles. An entire novel. Mm -hmm. Now, never got published. I was I boiled it and then I ate it. I ate a, I ate one of my books. <laughs>